Well, I did an interview with uh, Jason Begay, who's the Scientology actor that you're talking about. Yes. Jason left Scientology about uh, eight months ago, I believe. And he had been in for 12 years, and he wanted to talk about his experiences. He had reached out to Andreas Heldel Lund, who has the number one site critical of Scientology on the net, Zenu.net. And Andreas uh, suggested that uh, Jason sit down and do an interview with me on camera. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, that's what happened. I went up to uh, Jason's home in Malibu and, and met his family, and, and uh, he sat down and graciously talked for a couple of hours about why he got into Scientology and why he got out. And uh, I put up a three-minute tease of that interview last weekend. Um, and, that, and that tease became incredibly successful and popular on YouTube. It was garnering worldwide attention. Friday, uh, or rather, uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, it had reached 595,000 hits in just a matter of a few days. And suddenly, my account was canceled. Now, uh, YouTube claims that Scientology had nothing to do with the cancellation. And Scientology claims they have nothing to do with the cancellation. And I'm not one to uh, point fingers and, and blame people for things that didn't actually happen. I don't know for sure that Scientology had any connection to it. What led up to the cancellation of my account, though, was very suspicious. My friend Tori Crispin had a YouTube account. She was in Scientology for 30 years. And I had set her up with a YouTube account and, and bought her a webcam, and she had been recently uh, talking about her experiences. Uh, just a couple of days ago, her YouTube account was canceled with no explanation to her whatsoever. People across YouTube and across the net complained to YouTube, and YouTube put her account back up. Now, in the meantime, Scientologists were gloating on uh, alt-religion Scientology, a news group. Ha ha, we got Tory, and we're coming after Bunker next. Then, the, you know, as soon as Tory's account goes up, the next day, my account is canceled. And uh, uh, YouTube and Scientology, Scientology both claim they have no connection. And there is no tangible connection that I can see so far, but it certainly does look suspicious. They've done plenty of bad things over the history of the organization that it's easy to believe they, they're capable of anything. And I tend not to go for conspiracies and, and blame them immediately for everything. It just is an odd circumstance that Tory's account goes down, it comes back up, my account goes down, just within a matter of, you know, a day. Well, here's the deal. It, it's really hard to get through to YouTube. They make it virtually impossible. But there has been such an avalanche of protests about the removal of my channel that they actually called me. And they are, are swearing up and down that Scientology had nothing to do with it. But when I ask them, okay, well, who complained about my channel? They refuse to tell me. They, uh, they say it wouldn't be proper for them to do. And I don't quite understand that. And, and, and I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that it's not Scientology, but why can't they just tell me who complained? It seems like it would be a reasonable enough thing to do. This is not a, a priest, uh, a parishioner uh, type of, you know, solemn vow. Right. This is not a doctor-patient type of situation. If somebody complained about my channel and got it removed, I should at least know who complained. And yet they refuse to tell me that. However, now let me let me give you a little bit of the convoluted backstory here, and I will I will tell you the one person who I believe can solve this whole situation. I had a YouTube channel that was very popular until um, late January or so, when that first YouTube account was canceled. It happened that uh, on that on a particular day, I got a uh, takedown notice from Viacom for a Stephen Colbert clip that was copyright infringement. It, within an hour, I, uh, I got uh, another copyright infringement claim from the Church of Scientology about the Tom Cruise videotape that was all over the net. This happened back to back. Before I had a chance to respond, because in their takedown notice they say, well, you, please remove the clip um, or we'll have to take action. Well, before I had a chance to remove the clip, my first account was gone. Boom. Gone. And, uh, well, okay. Well, that sucks. But, uh, but you know, 
I, I, I moved on. I opened up a second account and started uploading my material again and made sure that there was no copyrighted material in there at all. Um, it's all strictly my stuff in the second account. Well, now, YouTube says that because my first account was canceled, uh, I was never supposed to have a second account to begin with. And that's in their, in their bylaws. And, all right, uh, if, if that's the case, uh, I, I understand that. Uh, but they won't tell me who complained about the second account and, and got the second account canceled, which I find odd. They also tell me, well, it was, you, your first account was canceled because of the Stephen Colbert clip. But they don't acknowledge the fact that on the exact same day I got the Church of, Church of Scientology complaint that is sitting here in my email box. Um, it's all very odd. So what they've told me is that if Viacom will just drop their complaint about the Colbert clip, that uh, they would be happy to reinstate both my accounts and everything will be fine. So it's just a matter of getting Viacom to say, you know what, we forgive them for having the Stephen Colbert clip up and, um, and then everything will be fine. And I believe now the only person who can make this happen is Stephen Colbert. If we can get a hold of Stephen Colbert, I will humbly apologize for, for putting two clips of him goofing on Scientology on my site, and we can all move on. You know, I, I certainly understand YouTube and, and Viacom wanting to protect their copyrights, and, and uh, I, that's acceptable. I understand that. But to have Tory's account canceled mysteriously, the threat that they're coming after me and then my account canceled mysteriously is just very bizarre. And the fact that uh, that YouTube is, is more than happy to say, listen, it's Viacom's fault. They're the ones who complained about your last account and refuse to tell me who complained about my current account. <laughs> it seems really bizarre. And the fact that, that they, they only point to the, the Viacom things in the past and not, not the, the uh, Scientology complaint on the exact same day, uh, it just seems really wacky to me.